Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. So Power BI December release is here and they have included some new DAX functions and I'm going to show you the three new DAX functions which they have included which is index, window and offset function. I'm going to just give you a glimpse of how this, these functions work and how these functions will make your life easy. So before I start this tutorial, I want to let you guys know that I will be sharing a link to this Power BI file in the description of this video, which will help you in practicing the new DAX functions in BI. So let's get started with this tutorial. On this sample data set over here, I have category and I have the number of orders placed against that particular category. Let's quickly first look at the index function. So I'm gonna create a new measure here and call this as index is equals to. So I'm gonna start typing with calculate function. So I'm gonna calculate the number of orders over here. So I'm gonna type in my number of orders. And over here, I'm gonna type in the index function. So it says the first thing is position. So the definition of the position over here is it says that it retrieves a row at an absolute position specified by the position parameter. Now what this basically means is that, let's say your index value is one. What this means is basically it goes and fetches the first absolute row value of that particular table. Now if I enter two over here, it's going to go to the second row and fetch me this particular value over here. So right now let's enter two over here and then let's complete the rest of the function over here. I'm going to say all and then I'm going to, so this since I have the category column in my table over here, I'm going to type in the uh, category column here and then I'm going to close the bracket once, twice and thrice to get close the function and then I have created a new index uh, measure over here which is now bringing in the second absolute value here in the column that I have. Now let's say if I want to look at the second last row all I can do is just enter minus two and look at the value of the second last row in that particular visual. Now this makes your life super easy in case you want to identify what is your last second row, what is your last third row etc. And by using the index function, it makes your life much easier. So now let's look at the second function which is available this month, which is the uh, offset function. So what the offset function can do is it can retrieve the value over here by moving certain number of rows. So let's say you are in row number one and you want to retrieve the value which is in row number two. So you can simply enter the argument as one and retrieve the second row value. Let's look at the example of this. So I'm going to start typing with calculate and I'm going to use the number of orders that I have comma and then I'm going to use the offset function over here. There's a delta here. So your the row that you are in is always zero. So let's say if you want the next row, it, the value has to be one comma. And then I'm going to say all selected. I'm going to type in the category over here since that is the column that I have in my table over here. And then I'm going to close the bracket over here and then bring in the offset value in this particular table. So if you look at this, it is giving me the next row value in the uh, previous row. Now let me just change this to minus one. And what you will see is that you are seeing the previous row value over here. Now, if you look at this, you are seeing the second row value in the third row. So this function also helps you in calculating the difference between these two rows over here. So imagine in Excel, you just do a, uh, cell A2 minus A1 and calculate the difference. This is what uh, Power BI uh, has now. Using the offset function, you can achieve that. So now let's say that I have calculated this. So now what I can simply do is I'm going to copy the entire thing over here, create a new measure and let's call this as difference. Difference is equals to, I'm going to say calculate of this and then I'm going to say zero because I want to calculate the difference with this minus this particular row over here. Then I'm going to say minus the offset function that we have created over here and then press enter. And if I bring in the difference into this particular row over here, you will see that uh, 1413, I don't have anything to subtract from above. So it is 1413. But over here, it is now subtracting 1400 with 1400. 113 and returning the value as 13 over here. Likewise over here it is looking at 1490 and it is subtracting the value with 1400 and returning that particular value as 90 over here. 
So now let's look at another function, which is the window function. Uh, so what the window function does basically is it does addition of certain rows and returns the value. Let, let's look at an example here uh, so that I can explain this better. So I'm going to do number of orders comma and then I'm going to use the window function. So if you look at the definition of the of, of this function over here, it says retrieves a range of rows within the specified partition sorted by the specified order or on the axis specified. So what this basically does is let's say that if I enter minus one to zero and then I'm going to say all selected, all selected and then I'm going to enter the category over here and then I'm going to close the brackets and press enter and bring in the window to just look at what is happening over here. So if you look at this particular value over here, one, four, one, three is what we have in the first row. In the second row over here, it is now calculating since we said minus one and so it's going back to the previous row to 1400 and 1413 which is 2813 that is exactly the value that we have over here. So if you come to the third row, it is now calculating the sum of the third row and the second row which is 2890 that is what is being displayed over here. Now you can change this window, you can also do this as minus 2 and this will look at the from this row it is going to look at the top two rows so it is going to sum 1, 2 and 3 rows and bring in the corresponding value of the sum of those three particular rows. So that is what window does. Now there is in all of these three functions, there is also something called as order by and partition as well. So before I explain the order by and the uh, partition by function, I'm going to just bring in the city into the rows over here so that I can explain this to you better. So what I will now do is I'm going to come over here to the window and then type in comma and then type in order by then I'm going to type in the category column over here comma and then I can define whether I need this to be in ascending or descending order let's choose ascending for now comma and then I'm going to type in partition by I want to partition this by city so what happens when I select city over here and uh, let me just close the brackets here. Okay, so it says that I don't have the uh, city in my window relation parameter. So when you receive this error, what you need to do is just go back to your all selected statement over here, type in comma and enter the city column over here and press enter. So the moment you do that, the formula will start working. And then if I, if we look at this particular um, window over here, uh, so if you look at the Bodhi city and if you look at the first row it is 62. Let me just change this to minus 1 so it is just calculating uh, two rows. So 62 plus 62 is 124, 62 plus 63 is 125. So it calculates all of this and when it comes to the next city which is Chennai, what it does is it resets itself and starts the calculation all over and it does not consider the uh, values that are there above that particular um, city. So it comes to Chennai, it gets reset over here. So the first row becomes 51 and the second row becomes the addition of these two and the value is being represented over here. So likewise, when it comes to Coimbatore, it gets reset. So this is what the partition by function is doing. Partition basically creates that separation between that the particular parameter that you enter over here it resets and shows you the value which is there in that particular column. So these are the three new DAX functions which are available in Power BI in the latest release. So make sure you download the um, latest uh, Power BI desktop file from the Microsoft website. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. You've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.